come on, relax everyone. It's pop music here, you know. This isn't Picasso. <laughs> I think the music bug bit when I heard uh, Tennessee Only Ford. My mum was crazy about Tennessee Only Ford, and she had, I don't know how she got hold of them, but she had a couple of 10 inch albums of Tennessee Only Ford. When I heard Tennessee Only Ford, I thought, that is what I want to do. It is a mystery. I don't know how it uh, how it occurs because when the when the muse, so to speak, isn't on you, not only can you not are you uninspired to to, to think of anything new, but you can't believe that you've ever been inspired. You don't know if, if how you've ever managed to do it. Likewise, when it is on you, you think it's the easiest thing in the world. It's uh, you just walk up because you can do, you can think about the song and in fact write the song when you're doing anything, walking, getting your shopping in the supermarket, driving down to the coast to do a bit of, you can do it all the time, work on it all the time. It's a, it's really uh, bizarre. Nowadays, it's almost like you hear a record in your head. You hear a finished song and your head is just out of reach and, uh, and you think about it, you, you, you grab a little bit of it and then you have to wait, it just disappears, it just goes away and then the next time it occurs to you, you grab a little bit more of it and I think, the, certainly the older I get, it's more of a listening, it's almost like listening to something. When you're younger, you're in a hurry and you get the idea, you go, oh, I know how this goes, bong, 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 and you knock it out and it's actually, well, it's all a matter of opinion, but when I listen to my early song, songwriting attempts, I think, oh, man, you had a great idea there. Why did you mess it up by right, r rushing through and doing it yourself? You should, don't do it yourself. You've got to listen to how it actually goes. <laughs> you have to sort of relax. The worst thing you can do is to panic about it. I, 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 I used to, um, really get into a, a real funk, you know, if, if I hadn't written a song for a, you know, a day or two at one, one time, although I've never really been terribly prolific. It seems like I have, but I, I've never really been that prolific. But, um, and, and as soon as you start to panic about it, as in you start rewriting old stuff, I mean, li you know, trying to write a new song, but it's just something that you've done before, really, or some terrible old cliche. You have to just relax, and, and, and it will it will come back. Um, but there ain't no way of bringing it on or turning it off, either. Seems my destiny's to count. I, I suppose peace, love, and understanding. That uh, you know the, um, that song. It's the first I always cited as the first original idea I had. Before that, when I was learning trying to teach myself how to write songs, I was just doing what everyone does and just ripping off my heroes and then you move on to the ne your next hero and rip them off and so on and so forth until one day you put a little bit of three or four of the rip-offs you've done, put them all together and that process starts happening and hey presto you come up with your own recipe, it's all a recipe, it's all been done, you know, there's nothing new under the sun, it's the how you put it all together. Um, but the day I thought of What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? I could not believe that I'd thought up an original idea, and uh, I was really quite shocked. <laughs> um, and it's a bit of a mouthful, you know. What's so funny about peace, love, and understanding? But um, I, I knew I was onto something. But now, after all these years, not only is it amazingly still relevant, which the uh, hippie in my, in, you know, in, in me is sad about that it's still a song that seem, people seem to get some comfort from but the small independent businessman in me is very <laughs> dead pleased <laughs> that it's lasted I'll be long gone. I tend to collaborate much more nowadays than, than I used to and I, I do enjoy it but um, I've, in the past I've, I've shied away from it because 
I'll just defer to the other person. I'm, I'm not, you know, someone who will put my foot down and say, no, 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 that's not right. You know, I'll, I'll always defer to it. And sometimes I, I think, that's a terrible idea, but they seem keen on it. You know, yeah, all right, yeah, okay, fine. And, and I'm thinking to myself, I'll change that bit later on. But f funny thing is, the number of times it happens that the bit I think I'm going to change later on becomes my favourite bit in the song. <laughs> And my idea that I thought was much better is not even close to, to as, as much fun. And that is exciting when that, that happens because part of, the, part of the thing of the songwriting is to trick yourself into doing something that you haven't heard before or haven't heard yourself do before. And it's so tiresome and you hear, because the, old, the older you get and the more you do it, you learn these tricks, and it and and, and it's skill. You know, it's all skill, and yet, paradoxically, you can't stand to hear yourself do it. The, the, all the stuff you've learned, you, it's t really tiresome and embarrassing. And so, when you write with other people, you have to put that that away. Sometimes it's not necessarily a very good piece of work. And when you write on your own you can really get down on it and hone it and sometimes it, you can over hone it let's face it as well but um, I like well, I suppose what I'm trying to say is I like uh, collaborating with people much more than I used to but it's quite different process no I, I, I don't really I don't have to go somewhere to write as I said earlier on, you know, I can do it in my, in my car, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I like um, driving and thinking if I've got, if I've got onto a song, I, um, it's probably quite dangerous actually thinking about it. I was actually convinced that I um, was through with making records. I'm not, not through with writing songs. I, I'm, I, I'm, I love writing songs and, and all that, but I'm much more interested in getting other people to do my songs than I am in recording them myself. And I, I thought for, lo for lots of reasons, you know, I thought I, I, people can, the music business has changed so much, especially for people like me. Um, the way people consume music now is totally different from uh, uh, from what I n knew and uh, also it's prohibitively expensive to make the kinds of records that I know how to make um, so and that's why no one makes records like that anymore you can make you can make a pretty good sounding record in your bedroom and millions and millions of people do uh, so much so that although there's great music out there it's buried underneath the tsunami of really terrible old rubbish uh, that you've got to wade through, you know, and I'm a, I'm a bit too old to wade through it now. Um, so I, I, I thought, well, you know, I, times change, you know, it's no big deal, it's times change because there's other ways of earning a living, one of them being the live music scene, because people can't get enough of seeing shows. And, luckily and, and they like to come and see people like me as well who have been doing it for a while and um, uh, but I was so I was sort of nudged into making uh, some more records but because I started playing with the straight jackets and it was suggested that well it will help even just to have something to put on the merch table you know it's a good idea so I I um, the, so uh, this new record is is not something I planned and schemed and have plotted. It really is. We, we had a couple of days booked in the studio, and we went in and we sort of knocked it out. <laughs> and um, uh, but we there was enough fun about it, and uh, we had enough fun about it to do another one. And we've uh, we, we're going to another one is going to be released imminently with some more new songs on it and one cover I think um, so people seem to be these people seem to like it so I'd be a mug really not to carry on with it <laughs> what other than try and get it sign up with big deal you mean
<laughs> just, li I think, really listen to as much, again, as we were saying earlier, listen to as much other music as you can. Even if on the surface of it you think, man, I don't like this stuff very much, but at least have a little look at it and, and see if you can find somebody or something in that genre that that you can like and, and you just put it in your saddlebag that's all it, all it is you just put it in the in the saddlebag and you can refer to it or not as the case may be I, I, I'd say that I, if, if I'd done that earlier I think I would have got got on better in this business in your mind you're locked up in disappointment desperation you're too old friend 